Backrooms Entities Explained. A series that I haven't done in literally a year. Well, guess what, everybody? I am bringing it back. Today, I'll be talking about three entities in the backrooms that I have never, ever gone over on the channel. So sit back and relax and get ready to listen to some backrooms entities that may or may not want to attack you. Let's get into it, shall we? So first up for the video is Entity 207, or Will O Waves. These entities live mainly on level 183, but it can also be found on other levels that are watery, like level 7. Willow waves are smallish, glowing fish-type creatures that are about the size of a large shrimp. They look like an anglerfish from real life, except they're tiny, which is both cute and terrifying. And even though they do look terrifying, they're friendly and they're pretty docile. And in the lore of the backrooms, they're actually considered good omens if you run into them. A tale of good luck, if you will. It's whispered that these creatures can lead wanderers to safe places, or even resources. Pretty much they're like the Northern Star from real life. They travel around these watery backrooms levels in groups of 30 to around 300, and they stay in the darker areas to avoid things like flashlights or headlamps. Now, as I said earlier, willow waves will lead wanderers to safety, or even to supplies or something like that. But in order for this to happen, you have to approach a group of them slowly, and then prick your finger and stick it down into the water. And after this, they'll start glowing and flashing underwater, and then they will lead you to things like a resources pack, or supplies, or an exit, or someplace that's safe. These are pretty useful, obviously, if you're on a watery level, because normally those levels are dark and you can't really see, and these things will light up the path and lead you to safety. If you do run into some of these creatures, do turn off your flashlights and any fake artificial lights, because they don't like that. Slow down your movement and don't jolt or jump around, and then follow them wherever they lead because they always want to help you. But if you see them, do not flash them with lights or go away from their path or try to grab them or slash around in the water because they don't like that, obviously. But if you do all of what I just said, you might get led to some good stuff. Next up for the video is Entity 503, or Volts. Now, this entity is classified as a IETS rating of 5D+, which means that the entity will attack you the second it sees you, and that it has a high-level animal intelligence. These entities are large metal creatures that live in scrapyard-type places that have tons of metal, and they kind of look like robots in a way. They don't really have any human or animal features, they kind of just look like jumbled metal scraps. Volts typically use things like drills or saws as weapons, but that's not the most dangerous part of these creatures, trust me. The most dangerous part is that they can manipulate and warp metal things through the electromagnetic field. So pretty much they can pick up things with their mind and throw them at you. Or they can bend metal to add on armor to themselves. And if they're not using armor, they can use more weapons and that kind of stuff. And because of all this electromagnetic field stuff, the volts have this electricity running through their bodies, which gives them the name volts. And these electric volts are actually a weapon because they can use the electricity as some sort of laser beam to shoot at prey. Now the good thing for us is that these creatures are pretty slow and they can't really rush after things because they're huge chunks of metal. They seem to eat iron and metal alloy type things and they also seem to like humans because of the iron inside of our systems. If you do run into some of these creatures, refrain from disturbing it, do not go near it and run away. And and do not try to engage them at all, or try to throw things at them, or try to do anything that would even make them know you're there because they want to eat you. Next for the video is Entity 41, or Roscoe's Basilisk. This entity is classified as an IETS rating 3D and is considered dangerous to humans with high-level animal intelligence. They look like snakes that we have in real life, but a lot of them have weird deformities and parts of them are missing, like jaws or eyes or teeth or tails are completely gone. And if they're not completely gone, some things are actually duplicated, like heads or tails or eyes. There could be a snake with five heads and three eyes. I mean, you wouldn't know. Overall, they just look weird. And these snakes range pretty widely in size. 
Some of them are a few centimeters long, and some of them are up to 7 meters long, or 23 feet. They typically live in dark, damp places, like sewers or the forest floor, and in most cases, the species of snake will determine how big that snake actually is. So if you see a viper, they're typically going to be smaller, and pythons are typically going to be bigger. Now, their eggs are normal-looking, kinda, except that they have glowing blue liquid inside of them that shines really bright in the dark. And the liquid gets brighter and brighter until the hatchling comes out. Now, this isn't the only glowy thing about them, because if the room the snake in gets dark enough, it'll start to glow itself. The entire body from head to tail will just glow a bright fluorescent color. They're omnivores, and they eat pretty much and behave pretty much like normal snakes from real life. And if you run into one, don't make any noise to scare it away, because then they'll attack you. And just try to stay relaxed. And don't go near them if you can, and just avoid them at all costs. I mean, they're pretty much glowing or radioactive snakes with radioactive eggs. I wouldn't be going near them. If you thought the name of this entity sounded familiar, it's because of the thought experiment with sentient AI from real life called Roscoe's Basilisk. And it seems like these snakes are named after that because they glow and they control things. You know, it's whatever. I guess it fits. Alright, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to continue the Entity series. I thought I'd bring you back for the Halloween month, so hope you do enjoy it. Check below for Toogly and Spoogly because I upload and I livestream on Toogly all the time. And the same goes for Spoogly. And of course, here on Broogly, we are literally so, so close to 500,000. I cannot thank you enough. And I do want to go ahead and announce that I will be doing two special live streams here on Broogly. The first one will be on Halloween Day, October 31st. First, and that'll be a live stream where me and Reese, or Clue, uh, we play Apirophobia, the back rooms, escape the back rooms, inside the back rooms, doors. We're going to play all those games on Brugly, the Brugly channel. It'll be here on Halloween Day as sort of a spooky type of thing. Hope to see you all there. The second live stream on Brugly will be when I hit 500,000. And I'm going to start the live stream right when I hit 499,999. And when I get that, I'll start the live stream, we'll hit 500k on camera, uh, then we'll just celebrate live on camera with all of you. Uh, I hope to see you there for that one too, that'll be awesome. We'll look back at some old videos, we'll look back at the year that we've done this in. It'll be awesome. I just hope to see everybody there. And if you're still watching, comment Live Brugly. Live Brugly, alright? Because that'll let me know if you're joining the streams or not. I appreciate you all, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.